I see. That's that's right. Susie, you got him coming in here chewing me out because that cap wasn't up there. I want you to know it, <laughs> it's up there. Don't chew on no boy no more. He can't, he can't handle it. Come in here all drugged down. <laughs> that's, that's one way to get it done. That's right. right. That's, that's right. All right, you do your deal, and then we'll kick her off. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry. World Grand Champion Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000. Or select Amateur Show Pleasure World Grand Champion El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live bull guarantees. Take that first step in adding another World Grand Champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. I fell in love with Tennessee from the second that I saw it. From the beautiful rolling hills to the beautiful rivers and streams, the ecosystem and the wildlife are awesome here. But it needs constant care, and that means picking up litter and trash every single chance you get. It's totally polluting the ecosystem, totally polluting the natural resources, and it's a big hazard for our local wildlife. Please join NobodyTrashesTennessee.com and join me in keeping Tennessee beautiful and keeping this part of our great legacy. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right, going to make a couple of announcements here. The Christmas in July is going on tonight. It's in. You can call Carol Misseldine at 919-437-6597, and showtime has been changed to 6 p.m. Everybody remember that. It's going to be a good one. Judges Dean Baird, Mike Hilly, and Alan McQuarrie. Then Friday night, July the 5th, at the uh, Cooper Still Arena, you got call Kerry Tisma, 678-576-1290. Start time for that show is 4 o'clock. That's your Money Tree Classic. And then we go to Woodbury. Oh, forgot the judges. Scotty Brooks, Jamie Lawrence, and Amy Trimble. And I think two, maybe all three of them, may be headed to the celebration. Maybe. Woodbury Lions Club, July the 6th would be in, well, that's in Woodbury. Call Shane Cannon, 615-904-4395. Start time is 5 p.m. And the the double dribble 
Judge yeah, yeah. Dale, <laughs> Dale Watts is going to be there. You know, we may be seeing Ford of the, because I, I got a feeling Dean Baird might be in the hunt too. Yeah. Plus Sam Sarah. So uh, I'm telling you, the celebration judge is going to be hard to pick this year because we got some good ones out there. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, there's one thing that I do want to show people, though, is uh, Carol Missile died. I was over here yesterday, and you talking about hustling. Not only has she come up with some good classes, but this lady was out there running around, sticking up the signs and all this. She works hard for this because she wants it to be good. But they, they was out there putting up a big tent for tables. Of course, she was doing the rail passes and things. She's got us on oh, the they far work, side. They work hard at that show now. They do a they, good job. From what I saw, they, they've got everything pretty much, pretty much put together over there. I know uh, Danny was under the pavilion up there working, and then he had the people out there putting up a big tent, but it's going to be good. And my specialty, they have good food. Oh, they, they do now. They, they, <laughs> have, they, they have some excellent food. They always tell me you take, a, you take advice from a big man. If a big person tells you you got good food, you got good food. <laughs> Jim Pearson used to be able to tell you where every good restaurant was in Tennessee. Bless his heart. Uh, one other thing, I got this the other day. I'm going to show a little thing on lab diamonds. Okay. Let's run that right quick. If you don't know how to ask, that diamonds do the asking for you. You can now get the same chemical, physical, and optical properties as mine diamonds with lab-grown diamonds. They are graded the same standards as mine diamonds because they are grown by the same process as cultured diamonds through two methods, high pressure, high temperature, and chemical vapor deposits in a controlled area. These diamonds are as real as mine diamonds, possessing the same chemical and physical properties. The one major difference is time. Lab diamonds can be grown in weeks to a few months, reducing the cost while providing the same quality. I'll tell you what. That's some good looking stuff right there. Hey, surprising. They're the same thing. When I looked at them, I couldn't believe it. I said, man, these things are beautiful. But the pricing yeah. is so much different. And you got to realize it's the same thing. Everything's the same. You can't tell them apart except the price. Yeah. So that's it. So we're going to talk jury. about what's going on because the things for the walk north industry is, is looking a lot better. The Supreme Court made some major changes which helped us. But one of the main things that I looked at was when they did about the the federal agencies that use administrative law judges. Yes. That opened up a big can of worms for a lot of different agencies that have been interpreting the law, not the way it is, but the way they want it to be. Yes. In our situation, it had to do with the scar rule it had to do with everything to where they could call any blemish a scar or inflammation and all this. But so many more. There's other, the EPA, all of this. These different agencies that have used administrative law judges to attack people. And there was one gentleman, I was talking with him, and he, he was talking about what if everybody started suing them for their overreach. Yeah, that's right. And going because we, we've got people that, it, and I'm going to go back to years ago when my buddy Billy Gray, now Billy's gone now. Billy served four years suspension, which cost him a lot of money, cost him customers and everything yes. else, for a scar rule on a horse that never missed a show. Yeah. That's right. Now, the horse never missed. He w went to another trainer and continued to show, not getting any more violations. That's in the record books. But that's that's just one person they attacked. Yeah. I could start naming other ones that they put on violation or on suspension for violations that were really non-existent. So now, rather than going in front of an administrative judge, to where they can keep bringing you back up in front of them. And some trainers are going to realize what I just said, 
where they were tried multiple times, two or three, for the same offense. Offense, yeah. I remember an FBI agent told us in a group one day that that's against the law. One of the trainers that was there said, well, go tell them that because they, they're the ones that's doing it. Yeah. But now they can't do that. Now they're going to have to change the way they do things, and, and justly so. But here, here's some of the things I want to point out. There's six vital points to what the, the major lawsuit is that we just filed yesterday. Mm -hmm. The ban on action devices and pads unlawful. The modified SCAR rule, unlawful. USDA's elimination of DQP program, unlawful. The ban on substances is unlawful. They even ban substances that are meant to help horses. Yeah. So they ban them. That's just how far-fetched they were. And the, does, they do not provide due process to owners and trainers even though they were ordered to do it, yes. and they still haven't done it. Then you got they failed to consider the devastating effect that these rules that they want to implement in February, they, they, they don't look at the impact on the industry or how it will, the economic impact. Yes. So what I'm, what I'm looking at is, is some laws that the Supreme Court stepped in and finally, in my opinion, doing what is just. Laws are made to follow, follow the That's right. You're exactly right on that. Well, they're not made. There's some laws I would love to enforce the way I want them enforced. Mm -hmm. But I think that's not going to happen. There's ways laws should be enforced and ways they shouldn't. So, yeah. And the USDA has gone out of their way to target people and, and be, I don't know, I've watched some of them try to provoke people into yes. fighting or arguing or it, it's just, uh, I don't know, I, I, it just, well, you know how. I do. Oh, I understand. <laughs> I mean, it just, the thing of it is, just like you say, they, they won't, to tell you things, but they don't want you to have no response to it yeah. or whatever, you know. And if you have a question, they don't want to answer your question, but they want to ask you a question, they want you to answer them. Oh, they, they well, they want to be a bully. Yeah. And, uh, and that's just not the way it's going to go. And not to change the subject, but I just, something just flashed into my mind. I'd like to get everybody to say a prayer for Rodney Dick. He, he's having a pretty rough time right now yeah. from what I was told yesterday. And, uh, and Rod, Rodney, well, one thing I admire about Rodney, I remember the night his horse stumbled in Pulaski when he was going into the ring. He went over that horse's head and hit on the ground, bounced right back up, dusted himself off, and they're getting him back on the horse so he can go into the yeah. ring. He, he's tougher than nails, but but he can still use your prayers. They um, the rest of the year because of what's going on. When we uh, right before the, the celebration starts on the first day of celebration, we always do a contendership. So all ads we sell between now started last weekend. Between now and the celebration, we're going to include in the contender show no no additional charge. I'm just doing that to where we can promote. I'd love to see yes. with everything that's going on. I'd really like to see people get back into this, and I think now that it's going to be pointed out the injustices that were put against the walking horse industry and the way that they were stretched, it, it, all of this is going to be coming out. Oh, yeah. It's going to be on the news and everything else, what's going on, especially when, when these things, you take a horse that, like what, what happened to y'all, a field scar, and they said, well, uh, we're just going to include it. it. Yeah. Had nothing to do with horse protection. Yeah, you're, mean, you, you're right. <laughs> you doctored. The horse had a field scar injury that was doctored and taken care of 
And instead of saying, hey, good job, they, they give you a violation. violation. Mm -hmm. Won't suspend the horse. So, I mean, right there it is. That's nowhere close to the pastor. Past, that's right. So, and, and what was it she said to you? You did blister. Blister that horse. That I'm, you blistered. I'm, that, those are terms that are used in other breeds. They're not even used in the walking horse industry. Well, the biggest thing on that is that she accused me of something mm -hmm. that she don't know nothing about. That's it. I mean, well, That's falsely I, accusing. Sometimes I wonder if she knows much about anything. Yeah. But it's just the things that are going on and what you see, the way she treats people, the way she acts, and, and, and it's just not right. But sometimes when you put people in a position of authority, they abuse you. Yeah, they, exactly they, right. they get to thinking they can do things that they can't do. Well, now all of this is going to come to a head, and uh, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting to see how far it goes, and especially some of these trainers who they have placed on suspension for nothing. Yes, I'm anxious to see what they're going to do because I, I can see some of them getting an attorney and going after them. Well, you you ruin that person's livelihood well, and everything. Well, you, you cost them dearly. That's right. You cost them a lot. And, 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 their ability to make a living, and they don't think that's wrong. And now they, they've been shown that what they've been doing, I mean, if, if it wasn't wrong, the Supreme Court wouldn't have decided the way they did. My biggest thing, all these ones is making these rules and, and doing things like some of these government agencies and stuff like that, they might need to be checked their background. Well. There probably be some of that going on now, because I'm gonna tell you the way the way that it is. You you uh you take a law and you say, well, I want it to be interpreted this way. It'd be kind of like a guy sitting out there on the highway, and everybody that comes by and say, well, I know they're only going 55, but I'm fixing to give them a ticket for going 70 because they can't prove, or they can't stop me. I can do, do it, it because right. I want to. Well, eventually that catches up with you. Well, the speed limit 55, and you give them a ticket for going 45, yep. uh, 50, you know. Yep. That, that's it. And, and I've seen so many that have turned around and come out, and people saying, well, what'd they get you for? Well, they said, I've got a scar roof. Where is it? Well, we can't find it. Yeah. You take them, and I can't name the number of horses that have been taken to Rude Riddle and other clinics. They can't find the problem. Either. Yeah. So let's go to some video. Right here is Private Dixie, and I want to uh, apologize to Wes McFadden because we're supposed to have this on last week, Jerry, and we missed it. So, well, I'm going to tell you, that's a nice horse right here. You better believe he is. Now, oh, Robbie done. Bradley does a good job now. He's a, another younger trainer that's coming up in this business that's doing a, a super job. Yeah, and I got news for you. They got a costume party in this Christmas in July. Uh -huh. If I was Bobby, if I was Robert Bradley, I'd have me a top hat on. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, he, he he's a heck of a trainer. Now he, oh yeah, he, he does a good job. Good and that that right there is a nice horse. Yeah. I talked to Leslie's wife, and uh, she said maybe we'll win again. I said, well, that mare right there, I, I would think so. I mean, that, that was super yeah, good, good mare, horse. super good mare. All right, now we're going to go to Putnam Why? County. Yeah. Here's mighty mischievous in Jackson Lake. You know, Jackson's doing a good job. Jackson's doing a real good job. He really is. Jo Jackson is one of them trainers that kind of go all around in lead coats, full with pleasure horses. Performance horses. I mean, he's one of. He's a horseman. Yeah. He does it all. He does it all. Oh, he's got several for Shane Porterfield. Here's cousin Bob. Your amateur 15 to and under in Shane Porterfield. Yeah. Shane got a bunch of good horses. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I'm, he I'm glad to see Shane back in the show ring showing well, he does and everything. He does a good job. He enjoys his stuff. Yes, he does. Now, he, he's got one horse that he's bought for his, his granddaughter, and if you don't watch it, them grandkids are going to take a bunch oh, yeah. more of them. 
Here's the Dixie Giant. He traded a car for that one. Mm. I got a truck I might trade off for <laughs> one. Open specialty winner. Jackson did a good job. Yeah. That. They said he hadn't had that horse for a couple of weeks. That ain't bad. Nope, it ain't. The Dixie Giant. Horses like that will start selling, I oh, yeah. believe. People get back in the ring, get to showing, and have a little faith in what's going mm -hmm. on. Yep. It, it'll help us a lot. Now we're going to go to Belfast, Tennessee. They had a good show, I thought. Yeah, they did have a good show. You know, that's a pretty place down there. Right here's Cole Hahn, Reserve Lebanon under. That class is heating up big time, yeah. buddy. Big time. Well, you know, everybody going out and buying the best for the best for their kids to show. Mm -hmm. Well, this one right here, Allie Jo, she done went and got her a spotted horse that she's training to do the whole thing. There's no trainer involved, just her. Yeah. There's I'm the boss lady and Bob Adcock. I love that mare. I like that horse, too. I, I, I've got to, to where there, we've got so many good horses that it, every time you look up, you see one yeah. guy. And that one right there, I love that walk. I tell you, Bob, he, he sits the horse real well and, oh, and, and does a good job. Bob, just super good. Person. He is, he's a real nice guy. You bet he'll be showing this week. Yeah. He got a good string now. And right here, welcome back to Audrey Smith. She is a, she's a little doll now, mm -hmm. she is. And Elsie, her grandfather, they, they love watching them kids in the ring. She, she sets a horse well. Now she does. She does. She made an excellent show, I can tell you that. She didn't make a miss step the whole time. She kept her horse in gear, looked good, walked. And that's all you can ask for. Yep. All right. What else we got? Oh, now we're going to get into the good stuff. We're going to get into the the horse show from this weekend. They had a good show down there. Oh, yeah, you had, really had, had a good show. Uh -huh. had, had a lot of good horses. Some horses we hadn't seen before, and a lot of surprises. Yeah. Uh, but it all in all, it was a pretty good show. We can get started on them. We walking for angels. Here you two-year-old stallions. Frenchie Shetta and Thomas Derrickson took the blue for Carol Dickerson. I'm Stormin' Norman, Tyler Balkum for Chad Presley. Nathan B.E., Lake Weaver for Joe Willett. I'm Worthy, R.M. Kelly. Mr. and Miss Howard Eastridge and Miracle by Nano. Reggie Newsom. Finished for Will Stan Wilcock. Finished out the ribbons. See what has some nice horses. Oh, he has a real nice horses in that it class was. right there. Real nice horses in that class. Yeah. Yeah, they did have some real nice horses. Oh, Thomas is doing Thomas real good. Thomas is doing a real, a real good job. I know his parents are proud of him. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, a real nice young man. Oh, yeah, he's super I mean, good he's, kid. He's, a, he's a super well, nice he's... kid. Walking horse people raise good kids. Yes. That's just it in a nutshell. Right here was a good class. He's prime time in case he called Will Sanderson took the blue. Rat Tail Jimmy and Will Cole was reserved. Hard eight, Skylar Nipper. Touchline, Carol Shelton and Bowmaster Mike Scott finished out the ribbons. That prime time speaks. Oh yeah, work, prime time is a good horse.
people tailgating over there, bud. Yeah. I also want to express the need for everybody to video, video, and video. Yep. That's important. Skyler can play. Oh, yeah. Skyler sits a horse real well. Casey does a good job. On oh, yeah, she does. Well, I mean, she, look, her dad was a great trainer. Yeah. Here's your part pleasure. Gomez and Amber Zan took the blue. Now, this Sterling Iron. That ain't part pleasure. No. That's three year old Maris and Gilding. Yeah. I jumped the gun. Well, He's walking in Dixie, and Chad Thompson took the blue. The Red Dragon, Sam Martin. Jose's jackpot, Jerry Graves. Mr. Delta Blue, Blake Sims. And Master in Time, R.M. Kelly finished out the ribbon. But that's understandable because, I tell you, trying to get these shows ready like this, yeah. you're going to have your, some of your classes labeled wrong. That's just it. I tell you, this horse that won this class, Chad Thompson's mm -hmm. horse, I'm, I like that horse. He's a good horse. He's a good horse. Good horse. And they have some good horses in there. Sam Morton riding a real good yeah. one. That Red Dragon? Yeah, Red yes, Dragon. Sir. That's Shannon's horse. Yeah. Shannon horse. Mm -hmm. but, now this show pleasure five and under. Here, here's the bad boy, Top Gun Maverick. No one of them Maverick horses. And Bill Calloway from my buddy Bob Adcock. Down s south in Dixie, Brad Beard for Kim Wilder. I'm matching up Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong. I am the lady, Drew Graves. And Jose's King of Queens finished out the ribbon. Right there's your winner, Top Gun Maverick and Bill Calloway for yep. Bob Adcock. Okay, what? That's a tough horse. Oh, it is. He That's is a nice good. horse. I talked to Alan one time. He said Bill was the one that was, he was a tinker. Said he would tinker with a horse until uh -huh. he got him right. <laughs> Right, right there, I like him. Maverick's got a lot of good horses. Oh, yeah. This right here was a good flat shot class. All day pleasure, yeah. three and under. Tex-Mex and Karen Allen took the blue. Sweeps Evil Dutton. <laughs> I know who that is, that's bad. <laughs> Caitlin Rippey. She's country money, Kelly, McQu Kelly Query. How do you like me now, Hunter Morgan? And she's the Hope Diamond, Austin McCord. Tex-Mex, I like that. Too. Oh yeah, I like that name. Sweeps Evil Dutton. They should have just named her Beth. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure, Caitlin. Caitlin must have named that one. <laughs> Like Merv Whitberg said. <laughs> I tell you what, there, in all honesty, 
there's nothing like a real good country place. Pledge your horse, you all right. Hey, you just watch them, they're smooth, you get it done. People wonder about this horse, right there's the gate. Yeah. That's the front door to the Tennessee walking horse. Those horses like that right there have brought more people into this industry. You're exactly than right. Than you could ever think of. That's how most people get into, in, in, into the walking horses. The pleasure right horse riding their first flat shot pleasure horse and they just like it and they just want to go you know, on and on with it. I've talked to people that said they was trail riding and they'd see someone on a walk horse and say, what is that one? Said, that looks like that's a lot of fun. Here's your amateur three-year-old stands. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you now, this is the only time Jesse Barnes gets to tell his mama what to do. <laughs> Give you cold chills and Becky Might took the blue for Jerry and Becky Might seeking justice, Alex Blackburn. The honor guard, Anderson Collinger. He's Mr. Big Stuff, Dr. Linda Brogdon, and I'm Rockin' Robin, Tom Mink. Mm -hmm. But now I'm gonna have to say, Jesse Barnes, you're one of the young guns, buddy, yeah. and you are making a name for yourself. Oh, he is putting some good horses oh, in yeah, the Oh yeah, he is. He is. Jerry just bragging on the coming and going, but I told him, I said, I was watching him out there tell his mama what to do, and I know that on the time that he got to do that. But she paid attention and she got her a blue ribbon yep. out of it. She made a good show. There from Bob. That was a good class of horses, right? It there. was a real good class of horses. Oh, it was a good class. The Becky can ride. Now. Oh yeah. I mean, well, Becky's been riding for a good while. Yeah. Give you cold chills and Becky might, or Jerry and Becky might, yeah. your amateur three-year-old stallion winner. Hey, how about the Marshall County? Take a look at our class winner. Give you cold chills. Showed how to do Becky it. Might. That's for yeah. sure. Becky, it's your Becky used to help me some. Um, Becky's a good horseman. Yes, she is. She sets a good. Oh yeah, she does. Now. She but sets now, a really good. Jesse, you gonna have to, you have to take your hat off. Yeah, of Jesse. Uh -huh. Jesse does good. a good job. Jesse's uh -huh. a, a real nice young man too. I mean, I tell you. All right, well, Susie, you got on to you about getting the hat up here, so go ahead and do your thing. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here to old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you wanna be. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax-deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right. I do want to remind everybody to video. Yes. Video your inspections. I know that right now is the time that we really need all the information and video of these inspections that we can get. Yes. Because it's going to be vital. And the more you help, the better off we're going to be. 
I know we got people that are busting their buns to help us, and now it's time for everybody to just step up. And I don't care if it's flat shot, performance, what is it? I don't care if it's a wild goat you're bringing in there. Yeah. Video, video, video. Mm -hmm. video. That's the main thing. All right, we're going to go to, I believe the next one up is going to be a country pleasure. I like it, Clay. Oh, yeah. Here it is, country pleasure amateur. Gigi's Majestic and Elsie Bradford took the blue in this class. Jose's Twist of Gin and Patty Pollock and Lady Legacies. Skylar Stone finished out the ribbon. Like I say, these, these country pleasure, all day pleasure, th these are classes that really and truly they show the oh, Tennessee yeah. walking, walking horse. horse. Mm -hmm. Look there. Smooth as silk and getting it done. Yeah. Can't ask for anything better. Nope, you can't. I was talking to a guy one time, and uh, this lady was in the industry for years, but they just stopped by a barn and uh, they were trail riding. Anyway, she rode a flat shot horse and she said, I'd like to ride one of them padded horses. So they let him let her ride. Well, she started having a good time and said her husband standing there looking, he looked at the trainer, he said, I think that's the most expensive ride but, I've ever seen. See. <laughs> and before he left he bought the horse. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Yeah. That happens. I've seen people buy horses for their their self and, and end up their wife take it or their grandkids and that's the good part that was a good class of horses there too yeah one but three but they were quality that um well pretty soon the international will be starting up here yeah. for the pleasure horses and sure will maiden class and all that stuff will be going on there she is, Gigi's Majestic and L.C. Bradford for William Bradford. Hey, I got a bunch of Gigi's Majestic. Gigi's Majestic. She won a lot of classes. Tell me a about it. A lot of them. That horse is, went to the Blue Ribbon Room and everything else. Yes. Something else. Great horse. That's a good family. Oh, too. yeah. Right here, two year old Marin Gilding. There's Thomas. Yep. I'm special 4G, and Tanner Burke took the plu for Ken Fry over the moon. 4G, another 4G horse. Thomas Derrickson for Maria, Maria, Maria Bobo. I'll get it out in a minute. Meet me in Dixie. 4G. Drew Graves, Jill Derrickson's horse. Sipping on gin and juice, Lake Weaver for Brooke Burgess. And she's venomous. Hannah Mite. I've done jump to another section. That's the wrong one. The, out of the four horses in there, three of them are 4G. As soon as I said Hannah Mine, I knew I'd done jump the gun. <laughs> hey, what? That's a good class. Oh, yeah, it was a good class. Jill Garrickson's smiling right now yeah. because she's seeing three of her horses in there. Yeah. Her and her both. That's something you don't never see. One person have three horses in one class there. Well, they, well, they, they wasn't their horses, yeah. but they were bred by that. By, that's by that's them, the that's main thing. Saying. They yeah. were bred by 4G. Mm -hmm. that, that says a lot. Yeah. And they were one, two, three. Mm-hmm.
Right here's one. Space Cowboy and Skyler Nipper. Nice. Your light shot amateur. Now tell me that ain't nice. Oh yeah. That's a beautiful horse. That is. Buddy. Don't you look there. Skyler, you're outdoing yourself, young lady. That's a perfect that's, team right there. Hey. what you like to see. Oh yeah. One handed. I mean she's doing it all oh, right. right. You exactly right. Rain's kind of loose. It's something else. Amateur three year old Marion Gilder. She's almost a ten and Ronnie Stanfield took the blue for his wife Judy. Miss Walking on Sunshine, Dr. David Bullock. Toddy Time, Ty Irby. Miss Uptight, Christy Warner. And My Little Dixie Rose, Bobby Bayham. I think that's Bayham. Bayham. But she's almost a 10. Almost. Not oh, quite. yeah, almost. <laughs> almost. Not quite, but getting close. They had some, some good horses in this class here, too. Yeah, well, it was. It was packed. I'm glad to see Christy back in the, I'm, in the ring there. I like to see these people yeah. that you don't see for a while, wow. and all of a sudden, they are right. back. Mm -hmm. Good. He says running walk time. Let him walk on. I believe now maybe more will come back. I, I talked to a couple that's coming for this weekend that said it had been 30 years since they'd been to a horse show. Yeah. But they would come in this weekend. I tell you, the, the announcer kept everybody informed of, in the show. T Tommy will do that. Yes. Here's your trail pleasure amateur. Manoia and Jacqueline Way took the blue. Bruno, Caitlin DeSalle. And that was it. Two of them. Right there. Yeah. That's a horse that you would want to see on the trail right there. One Jacqueline on. I mean, just sitting there. Just that's sitting there, just yeah. pecking along. I was down Bobby McNatt at a trail ride one time. I looked up and this horse come across through there. And I just knew it before I asked. I said, it had to be a show horse at one time. It said, yep, the world grand champion. <laughs> Performance horse. <laughs> <laughs> right there, amateur 15, two and under class. Yep. And to Tommy stole your your uh, story about that horse. You knew that, did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You hear him out there? He said, I heard him. You don't believe it, ask Jerry Williams. He'll tell you all about it. <laughs> a King Vane and Bob Agcock took the blue. Honor my father, Tanya Strickland was reserved. Charlie's Phantom, Peggy Mervine. Star Power, CC, Amy Rich. And Cassius, bold and fresh, Carol Counts finished out the ribbon. There's another horse, Mr. Bob's, and he does real good with. He does oh, a lot, yeah. of, lot of winning with. And it was worth a load of sawdust. Yeah. Shade. Let them shavings won't get him now, though. <laughs> it got to be a bunch of them. <laughs> get James Wilson. We get James to ask him how many loads of shavings in. He'll take that horse. I 
I'll tell you what, Amy Rich can ride. Oh, yeah. Now, she, mm -hmm. She's a good rider. She is a good rider. There's Elsie West. King her, a King Thane and Bob Adcock. That's a good horse. Yeah, he is. He's a real good horse. Good horse. Oh, Bob has a good time. Yeah, oh, I'm going to tell you. He does have a good time. Right here's your amateur four year old stallions. Now, this is a Ryder Cup. Yeah, Ryder Cup. Mm hmm. We got to understand we had to get this ready oh, in a yeah. hurry. <laughs> We're on a short, short lease this week. The juror, Michael Wright took the blue. My Addiction, R.M. Kelly. Charles Lindbergh, Thomas Derrickson. Whiskey Roll, Dan Waddell. And George of the Jungle, Robbie Brad Bradley. You remember George of the Jungle? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Swing out of that tree, tree right into another. That, right in another tree. <laughs> oh, Lord. George of the Jungle. You know, I'll make this point. There was no USDA there. And I. I did not see one horse that looked out of place. Me either. And I mean, I didn't even see any that was hitching. Yeah. And that, I mean, that could be the bit or anything, but it, that just goes to show that this industry takes care of itself. Yes. Here's your amateur four-year-old Mares and Gildens. Designed by Zick Dixie and Gail Wallen took the blue. Jose's Havana Knight, Kathy Baker. Steinway, Amelia Hesseldine. And Uncle Joe Simons. Terry Logan Longsford. And she's cold hearted. You know a lot of people like oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> and Kelly DeShell. There's a good one too. Oh yeah. Hey, what? There's a lot of good horses. Oh, they did have a lot of good horses over there. And some of them are—they just broke out because I didn't recognize the names of them. a lot of them. Horse right there. Mm -hmm. Gail does real good rides. Oh, she's the oil herself yeah. now. She really does. And I think that Vanna Knight horse, I think that was Kathy's first time showing it, I believe. Yep. Yeah, I believe so she, was. she just bought that horse. Uh huh. All right. Well, we're gonna take a. Sh no, you gonna do that's your job. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna let you do we'll it. be right back after these messages. During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. 
Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee walking horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee walking horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse coming up. All right, we got a couple more classes yeah. to do. But I want to remind everybody to record video. Watch your horse being inspected. I talked to a lady this morning. She said, What should I do? I said, Take that phone, turn it sideways, stand right there until it's yep. done. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, can I do that? Yes, you can. They can't stop you. Nobody can stop you. Show management can't stop you. The USDA can't stop you. It is the law. You can video, and we need the video. Oh yeah, they're they are, they're more vital than a lot of people think. Yeah, now they are. They're very very important. That's one of the first questions that I get asked when I say something that I, you have. Did they get video of it? Because that is going to be what tells the difference. All right, let's go and. Finish out the show, and we'll get out of here and go to a horse show. <laughs> Here's your show pleasure. This was good. This is a Ryder Cup. This oh, yeah. Good clash. And here it is, the Jackalope. And Amber Zan took the blue. Evan Williams, black label. Robbie Bradley. Touchline. Edgar Abernathy. Coach Brentwood. Brian Swift. And Walk by Charlie, Chad Thompson finished out the ribbons. Evan Williams, Black Lake. Yeah. I like <laughs> it. That was a good class. Oh, yeah, it was a good class. You know, a lot of people don't realize how important the video is. Oh yeah, the video, the video don't lie. <laughs> I mean, it really don't. When you, when you go in and you present and you show people what, I remember when we first got them sticking their thumb, nail yeah. up down into the yeah. pocket to squeeze to make a horse move. I got two phone calls the next day from senators saying, now we understand yeah. what yeah. you're talking mm -hmm. about. It's vital, very vital. Here's your age stains. This was the championship. And I'm gonna say ORM came in there. Oh yeah. Augie, RM Kelly took the blue. And this next horse is a piece of work too. I am March Madness. Look at that. Great horse. That's yeah. Casey Wright for Debbie Woods. A great honor, Dan Waddell for Chavney Beasley. And Mossberg, Lake Weaver for Randy Stone. Finished out the ribbons. Can't ask much better than that. 
get a good quality steak glass. Oh, yeah. I'm anxious to see what we're going to have at this 4th of July shows. You're exactly right. That'll be, that'll be a good class. Oh, we're going to. I think we're going to see some good ones now. I really do. I really do think we'll that see some right good there, ones. That horse right there, that Augie horse is a good horse. Yeah. March, I like March Madness. Yeah. yeah he's a good one. All these horses are nice horses in that class. Nice. Good horses in that class. Well, you can find a cull in a bunch now. That's yep. a fact. But that, that, that's what this is all about. Yeah. And to me, you talking about a person that's like a a young Joe Morton, if that's R.M. Oh, yeah. Mean, he is now. I mean, you just kind of watch him. He kind of get that head kind of. Get that head cocked yeah. to the side. And he just, yeah. Joe, you just look at Joe Martin. He looked like he was, look there. Yeah. Got that head over there to the uh -huh. side. I told, I made a statement to uh, <laughs> tell him one time, I said, you know, R.M., pretty good little trash. Don't kill him, man. Go to his head. <laughs> Dan does, got a good horse right there, too. Yeah, he does. Good Dan Waddell does well. Yeah. yeah, he really does. I got a picture upstairs of Jimmy winning his first championship, and Dan's in it. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, there's a lot of a lot of history. Yeah. In this in this industry, a lot of great trainers, great horses and now I, th I think that we're 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 about to see a lot of good things oh happen. yeah i hope so i, I, I truly really hope do. so i really do uh, I, I will say this and and people were wondering about injunctions and all this there's nothing filed injunctions for right now because they're not trying to implement anything yeah. uh we've got we've got a good lawsuit going and we point out everything that they're doing wrong. And I, I believe that once we go into a court of law, I believe that the justice system will see what we're saying. I know the Supreme Court doesn't see a lot of it by getting rid of those appointed, I call them yeah. appointed judges uh -huh. for agency judges or whatever. But all that's important to us. And uh, we, uh, I don't know. Get rid of the I just want to see this business keep growing and want to be grow up, be an old man, train horse in this business, and watch the young people you like know. I did, like I was as a kid growing up. That's back. I don't want this to end. You know. I, I, I don't either. I want to remind everybody to include Rodney Dick in your prayers, yes. people. He's one one of our good, good. ones. Mm -hmm. Good luck to everybody. Y'all be safe and good luck. See you next week. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, What a horse! I know they're talking about me, of course, and I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.